Hey there, folks. Today, we're going to talk about Cerberus, the dude from Greek mythology who guards the entrance to the underworld. Cerberus was born between Typhon and Echidna, making him siblings with creatures like the Hydra, Chimera, and Orthrus. Now, most of y'all know Cerberus as the guy with three heads, but rumor has it he had 50 heads at one point. Still, we'll stick with the classic three. He's got a bunch of snake heads sticking out of his back, and his jaws are lined with sharp, deadly teeth. Cerberus's main gig was to stop the living from getting into Hades' realm. Dead folks? Yeah, they're welcome. But the living? Nope, not happening. He's the one who sorts out the dead from the living on Charon's boat and points them in the right direction. And let me tell you, the living ain't crossing that threshold, no sir. But there are exceptions, you know? Orpheus used his sweet tunes to charm Cerberus and get into the underworld. Psyche distracted Cerberus with some honey-laced bread to sneak into the underworld. Now, one of the most famous tales is when Hercules had to bring Cerberus back from the underworld. He did it without weapons, just raw strength. Cerberus might look scary as hell, but in some ways he's kind of goofy too. Still, he played a big role in Greek mythology and popped up in plenty of stories.